unboxing a Fisher Investment solic uh, solicitation. Let's see how this shakes out, shall we? So we're gonna Fisher Investment pri private client group. group. Now, as I told you, Ken Fisher's in the news recently for being uh, saying some a joke that uh, Snowflakes got all offended by. And they're like, oh, how could he say that, Ken Fisher? And uh, I just, I. <laughs> Uh, pipe down, Pipers. That's what I say. If you can't, at this day and age, everyone's offended by everything, and people are actually using someone's silly joke, which was actually kind of funny, uh, to try to solicit business off this guy. And I just, I, I, I literally despise that stuff. Uh, so don't be offended over stupid stuff. All right, my goodness. Anyway, so let's read what we got here. Uh, Mr. Scanlon, that's me. You're probably wondering why congratulations are in order. Uh, let's see here. All right, there we go. Let me just read the thing. I'll put myself on here. Mr. Scanlon, you're probably wondering why congratulations are in order. And I have a logical reason for you. It takes skill, perseverance, and savvy to accumulate $500,000 of investments. If you have accomplished this, it's likely you've landed yourself among the wealthiest Americans. To have outsaved and outinvested your peers speaks to the kind of individual you are. It should be explained. It should also explain the exclusive nature of this communication, folks. If you followed any kind of copywriting, this is copywriting 101, which is good. It, it makes me feel uh, good about myself. It makes me feel exclusive as well that I'm above my peers. This is actually a video sales letter. Well, not a video sales letter. A uh, well, I guess it's other than video, it's a sales letter. It's a two, three page solicitation here, which is, which is good. I mean, it's a good solicitation. It's exclusive because we select so carefully the individuals we invite to acquire free to you, our investment guide, 99 retirement tips from Ken Fisher. As you may have seen my book, the only three questions that count on the New York Times uh, bestseller seller list. You may have even skimmed through it. Understand, please, I'm not asking you to buy anything or to subscribe to anything. I simply want to send you a free copy of my 99 retirement tips so you'll know something about the quality of service and information we provide to our clients in the hope that you may decide to become one. So that's, that's good sales li uh, literature, actually. He's saying, look, I want to send you this. I don't have any solicitations to make. Ah, yeah. Uh, but he's saying, I hope I, I want your business. That's what he's saying. He's asking for the order. So sales 101, you got to ask for the order. And if you respond right now, I'll also send in a bonus guide to maximize your social security for retirement. I'll tell you why I, might, uh, I think you might find my offer beneficial. I've written columns for leading publications, blah, blah, blah. I'm executive chairman and co-chief investment officer of Fisher Investments, the global money management organization. I've, made, I've witnessed people making investment mistakes they regret for years. At uh, Fisher, we dedicated ourselves to helping clients avoid those perilous mistakes. Now, suppose you skim through 99 retirement tips or maximize your social security and agree with the conclusions. Then what? Then nothing, unless you decide to discuss your own circumstances with us. If you do, nothing may come of it or something may come of it. One of us may decide we're not a good fit. One of us may say thanks, but no thanks, or both may say let's do business together. I'm enthusiastic about the possibilities because as far as I can tell, you're not only personally successful, you're also astute enough to see the benefits of professional money management. All right, I'll conclude now with what I hope is the just beginning of a relationship with you. I'm not about to risk my reputation, not with you or anyone else, by making hefty promises. I've spent too many years building up to be foolish enough to tear down wild claims. So I'd like to leave you with this. Even if you have something else in place right now, please take me up on my offer and request my free guides. If I'm wrong and these guys don't provide you with information regarded as useful and profitable, so what? I've enclosed a quick confidential request form, blah, blah, blah. All right, so that's a uh, that's good uh, sales piece, but the, the problem with this, Unfortunately, yet we live in a narcissistic society. People love to be sweated. They love to be say how good they are. The issue is I don't have five hundred thousand dollars of investments. I don't, um, and I, and so he's sweating me as if I did, not knowing who I am at all. If he knew that I didn't have five hundred thousand uh, bucks, he would not be sending this to me first and foremost. Uh, but the fact that he's insinuating it just because on my zip code, because you can look at zip codes where the fluent people are. I guarantee everyone up and down the street got the same thing. Now, I don't need to be, I mean, I don't know, maybe I do, I don't know, but I don't need this guy to make me feel good about myself. I don't need to drive a fancy car so I can say, look at me, I don't, I just don't care. Uh, but he says, I'm, 
because he says, as far as I can tell, you're not only personally successful, you're also astute enough to see the benefits of professional money management. Uh, huh? Well, why would he say I'm astute enough to see that? Because I live in a, a high-end zip code? That's just, it's, see, I, I personally hate that stuff. But I know in this society, people need that feeling of self what, gratification. I don't even know what the word is. Self gratification. Self, I guess, confidence. I don't know what it is. They need to feel, um, they just need to feel good about themselves by other people. And I think that's a problem. You feel good about yourself by you, not by other people. And if you are doing what you love to do, regardless of you're in a high-end zip code, regardless of you're driving a Mercedes, regardless of whatever you're doing, you make yourself feel good. I don't need Ken Fisher. You know, obviously, he's not writing this to me personally. I don't need him to make me feel good about myself. The idea that, oh, you obviously are exclusive enough to see the benefits of professional money management. Obviously, he's saying that because he says, if you don't see it, then you're not going to call me. But you're not only personally successful. He doesn't know that. I just I find that to be... a. I hate all that stuff, but I know what he's going for. He's going after people who need that feeling of I've arrived. I'm there. I have Fisher as my team and, uh, and I want people to know it. So, uh, and look, if you're invested with Fisher, I don't have any qualm with him. I don't have any qualm with Ken Fisher. I have no qualm with you paying some guy. I don't care. Uh, I had a, uh, a guy tell me that, uh, when he left Fisher, the Fisher sales guy was like screaming at him. And I said, dude, that's crazy. But, uh, <laughs> Anyway, I, I just, uh, the funny thing is, if Ken Fisher is so exclusive, why the hell is he advertising all over the place? That's what I cracks me up. If you're so exclusive, you're advertising anywhere? Every, I mean, literally everywhere. I see Ken Fisher everywhere. It's on my Gmail email for heaven's sake. So, anyway, I just thought you'd get a kick out of that. That's the Fisher uh, solicitation I received. Uh, if he only knew who I was, he would have saved his money. Let's see how much this cost. Uh, first class, I don't know. But the favor of your reply is requested. Nah, all right, we'll see you.